Hey guys, and welcome to another part for Resident Evil 2. Last time we played, we made it f a little bit further with uh, Claire. We made it out of the police station, at least. Um, I think we're on the last stretch. Like, if if it's uh, anything like Leon's playthrough, it's essentially the last, like, area before we complete the game for Claire. So, you know, yeah. Hopefully we finish it today. That's kind of my goal. I'm kind of hoping that I can just get this done and then we can move on. <laughs> I need to get this reviewed. So uh, yeah, that's going to be our goal for today is to finish this game up. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get rolling here. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Man, I've got a lot of ammo, which is really good because the guys outside this place are terrible. All right, I can drop this ink ribbon. I'll keep the key for now. I don't remember what that goes to. Hopefully the puzzle isn't nearly as long and drawn out as the uh, as the last one or um, as the playthrough with Leon just this area with Leon took forever so hopefully it goes a little quicker I feel like this playthrough with Claire has already been longer than Leon's anyway not that that's a bad thing, it's just with it being basically the same game, it just seems like this segment is longer. Oh, did these guys permanently die? Wow. That's nifty. You're not dead. No one's fooled. There, he's dead. Okay, hopefully these guys permanently die. That would make this a lot easier. I didn't bother killing them in Leon's playthrough because I thought that they just kept coming back. There was no point.
Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to do the whole puzzle over again. Maybe we can get through it a little bit quicker than with Leon. But probably not. this okay thank you I don't need it but I want it if I had a fuse case I think it's kind of silly that it's the same, it's the same puzzle. I mean, it's fine, it makes it, I don't know if it makes it easier or not, but you would think that they would try a little harder to change it up a little bit. It's an old computer. I think I can go into this room until we put that fuse in. So let's go do that. these doors. Oh no, I need the key. So I need to put Claire in the computer for that. different okay I read it I read this already
Okay, then I'll get me into the other room. Alright, now that we have the key card, we can go into that other room. in here but all right I do remember what's in here oh crap I'm poisoned. Um, I think I need to do stuff in here, so. All right, I need to turn on the lights first. If I can die, maybe I'll just to be safe. Oh yeah, I'm I'm running a little bit now. I remember there being something in here that I needed. No? Maybe there isn't anything in here that I need. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe that's just Leon. Because I know that these guys are different. the key for the key card for the other room too I'm gonna go over here and get a free poison healing herb feeling good all right let's try we'll try and go back to that elevator and see what we can do there I really don't feel like I can use it but I mean, maybe See if I can remember how to do this. Ah, oh, 
it's so nice those guys are gone. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Apparently I don't have the master key. I just have a lab key. Alright, well. We won't be doing that. I think it's... No, it's this way. Classic, I know. It's a great game. <clears throat> this is actually the first time that I've played this game. Um, granted, I did play all the way through Leon's part uh, just like a couple weeks ago, so this isn't completely new, but kind of, you know? Yeah, I remember these guys being in here. Can we not? Can we please? Oh my gosh, I died. That's fine, we'll just do it again. It's all right. Good thing I saved it. I haven't saved it. It's the first game that gave you nightmares. <laughs> Resident Evil. I wonder how kids nowadays are dealing with the the remasters of these games. Probably doesn't phase them. Yeah, I didn't play any of the Resident Evil games growing up. Win some Silent Hill. Um, I I don't have very many Silent Hill games. I have a very few. I think I have Silent Hill Four and then Silent Hill Origins on um, the PSP. But I definitely need more. Um, I think we're okay. I'm gonna do all this crap over again though. I'll definitely be playing uh, Resident Evil 3 soonish. Um, so, because. So, I play games from beginning to end and then we review them for a podcast at the end. And uh, I don't want to play like the same games in the series back to back. I like to throw in a bunch of other stuff in between. So we'll be playing Resident Evil 3 eventually, but it, it won't be. It won't be right away. Remaster of Resident Evil 2 is a masterpiece. Oh, come on, sir. <clears throat> Yeah, I know that Resident I have heard that Resident Evil 2 and 3 are like super dark. Like not not like contextual dark, but like just moody color dark. Not that that's bad. It's just different from the original. Okay, we don't need to go in there yet. Come in here and do the fuse thing. <clears throat> it's funny because growing up, I 
didn't like scary anything. So like scary movies was a big no. Um, scary video games was a big no. Even like Halloween, I didn't like Halloween either. Um, but yeah. now I still don't like, I still don't really like scary movies, but I've come to terms with Halloween and scary video games don't scare me at all. Like zero fear, simply because video games are designed to kill you. Like you're, you're going to die regardless of what happens. You're going to die. And I think going into the games with that thought process makes it less scary just because it's like, yeah, it's, it's inevitable, you know? That said, I still get hit by the cheap jump scare from time to time. Like, um, when the chief's torso got flung back up from the sewer system just a little while ago, uh, it startled me a little bit <laughs> it got me i mean i don't know i i think that being startled is not really scary as much as it is a surprise you know i don't know Terror games is wor oh, is something else. It's worse than movies. Um, I I think it's just a matter of perspective, you know. Like for me, the movies I put my I put myself into the main character's shoes way too easily. So like them being on the verge of dying is way more fear-inducing than in a video game where. I'm expecting to die, you know, and you know, you have save points and crap. So like There's only so many times that you can die where you're just like ah, It's just me dying again <laughs> We're in a movie. I think that they they build the suspense better, you know I mean don't get me wrong. I'm still scared to die. Oh crap. I gotta go back I'm still scared to die in this game, but it's for a very different reason it's not because I'm afraid for Claire to die. It's more of I'm afraid to lose my progress. <laughs> Which, I mean, it, it makes it interesting, you know? It makes it thrilling. Makes you have to strategize and all that good stuff. I don't think that they could even fix that though either you know it's not like when you die in a video game the game like explodes and you can never play it again you know which would be very interesting <laughs> but in the movies the main character most of the time survives but in games it's like you're fighting to survive yeah no I get that for sure Did I get this already? Yeah, I did. I look at this paper. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played that many horror genre video games. Maybe like, this is number four. <laughs> I've played Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2 now, Resident Evil 4, and then I played um, The Last of Us. I didn't finish it, unfortunately. And then it has no, no reason other than I just got busy and stopped playing but I, I have plans on revisiting that eventually 
I need to finish it. I need to know what happens. Ah, oh, crap. Is there anything in here other than rounds? No. Oh, dang it. Well, maybe we'll just avoid this room. I don't think there's anything in here other than a few rounds. Like I don't, I don't need it. If I'm gonna die, I may as well die somewhere else. Resident Evil 2. I've only been streaming for 20 minutes and I've already died twice. <laughs> and I'm starting over from the very beginning each time, so I need to step it up and do better. Did I ever play the remake of Resident Evil 1? I did. Um, I didn't finish it, I just played it to check it out. Uh, I played the GameCube version. I don't know if there's a better one out there, but I did play the GameCube version and it's really cool. It definitely is a step up from the original. Though the PlayStation era has a charm that the remakes just don't have. Like Resident Evil 1, I don't know, I think that that almost made it scarier just because you couldn't fully see the monsters, you know? Where Resident Evil 1, the remake, looked amazing. It really did. But like, I don't know. There was less of a creepy factor because I feel like you could see the zombies a little better. did look good I'm curious if they will re remake that because I mean a remake on the GameCube is still a heck of a long time ago I'm sure that they have upscaled it since hey Christina how you doing today Oh yeah, the Crimson Heads. Oh my gosh, they're terrifying. That's like the worst part <laughs> of that whole game. I am doing good, Christina. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, we're playing Resident Evil 2. It's the first time, what am I trying to do? It's the first time that I've played this game, though I did play through Leon's um, storyline uh, earlier this month. But to finish the game, we're playing all both storylines. And I'm fully enjoying it. We are playing on the original PlayStation 2. Not PlayStation 2, the original PlayStation also. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this and not die. That's the goal. I think you've never played this game? Ah, oh, it's good. Um, I think Resident Evil 1 is a little bit better in my opinion, but um, I think they're both up there. But I hadn't played this game either. Like, I missed this whole series growing up. I didn't play Resident Evil 1 until just last year. Resident Evil 1 is a little bit more difficult. I think this game gives you a little more assistance in aiming. You're too chicken? Oh, come on. 
It's not that scary. Maybe a little. <laughs> I think the worst part, especially plan one, is the aiming problem. Like, you get so roped up into, like, oh my gosh, the zombie is coming at you, and they're kind of slow. So, like, you have plenty of time to see it coming and try to shoot at it, but, like, you still miss. <laughs> You've seen people play them all, but you couldn't play it. Uh, I get it. I think that's part of the fun of starting starting Zap Night. So Zap Night, we play video games from beginning to end, and then we sit down and we talk about them in a podcast format, and when I started it, the whole point was to play the games and complete these games that I have in my collection. And um, it's forced me to play games that I otherwise wouldn't have touched. And I think that that's been the most fun. Like, I have friends that are like, hey, you know, play Resident Evil with me. And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> so then I pick it up and try it and I love it and fall in love with the series, you know. Dino Crisis, yeah, that's another one that I really want to play too. I think I have, I have one of them. I can't remember which one I have off the top of my head. I think it might be Dino Crisis 1, maybe. But there's definitely a charm about the PlayStation era games. And I think it's just like learning, um, the developers learning the like 3D environment and how to develop for that. Oh, you beat the second one in like five minutes? Jeez. All right, um, there's some zombies behind this wall and I do not want to die. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whichever it may be in your part of the world. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, let's not die from these guys because we need in the room behind them. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're just gonna let them come to me. I'm gonna stay back here. And they're nice and slow, so I should be able to see my death coming a mile away. All right, they're. They should be getting hit. Okay, we got one. Can you die? Thank you. These guys are a little bit different than when I fought them with Leon. I think Leon, they were just like big green guys. Plus, yeah, they whip you. <laughs> they whip you when you walk on top of them. I'm just gonna do it. Freaking do it. It's fine. Played Dino Crisis 3, but never finished it. What was Dino Crisis 3 on? Was that the one that was on, um, oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, was that the one that was on the Nintendo 64? Or did that come out on the PlayStation 2, or PlayStation 1 as well? Hang on, I want to look now. I want to look and see what I have. I know I have some of them. Dino. I have Dino Crisis 1 and Dino Crisis 2. Dino Crisis 3 was released on the Xbox. And that was it. <laughs> so yeah. Dino Crisis 1 and 2 was on the PlayStation and 3 was on Xbox. And I don't have 3. You never liked the PlayStation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't like the controller. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I get it. Everybody has their own thing, for sure. I, I had the problem, I had that same problem with the Xbox. Like, the games that were released on the Xbox, I just wasn't into. I mean, I still have an Xbox, but I don't like it. 
<laughs> oh. No, 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 please. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. PS5 is much faster than the PS4? Yeah, for sure. I I haven't been able to find a PS5 yet. When it first started being released, I didn't want to buy one right away. And here now, no one can find them. Because of the chip shortage and all that stupid crap. All right, there's uh there's more. I think we're going to just avoid this guy. Oh, or we're not. We're just going to run right into him. That's fine too. They're supposed to be restocking soon. Good. That's good to hear. I really, as long as I have a PS5 when Horizons, the, the new Horizon game comes out, I'll be fine. <laughs> That's the big one. Granted, they're still releasing it on the PS4, which is good, but I want like a collector's edition Horizon game or Horizon, uh, PS5. That would be amazing. Consoles are faster than anything, but the 90s, the CD games, consoles were slow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Dreamcast was sl pretty slow, too. Oh, man, you, you know somebody that just got a PS5? Your mother-in-law just got one. That's amazing. Oh, for you. Oh, I didn't read that spot. Holy crap. That's cool. Um, I haven't been that lucky. I had this chance. Okay, so, um, a few months ago, Walmart was stocking them, and I had this chance to buy them, and I'm like, no, let's just, let's just wait, because I felt like, you know, eventually they would just be a common thing where you would see them all over the place. That wasn't the case. Like, you just don't see them anymore. Well, at all, right now. Oh, they used to resell them. Yeah, I get that. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get them, why not? If people are willing to pay, like, 500 bucks for... Or... I guess they're going for 500 bucks retail. But I mean, if people are willing to buy them for like way more than that, yeah, make a profit for sure. I mean, I'm not gonna pay that much. I'll just wait until I find one. <laughs> I mean, during peak COVID, I was selling a couple of my extra Switch consoles that I had laying around just because they were going more than retail so why not make you know some money and i had a bunch of switches or switches yeah i had a bunch of switches laying around so i just you know sold a few that i had extra Oop, no that's not what i wanted i'm gonna go ahead and save it since we're here Did, oh no, did I just save it? I think I did just save it. I'm such an idiot. It's fine. I have plenty of ink ribbon. I just feel dumb when I do that. It's because I'm not paying too close attention. In Mexico, the Series X and PS5 are very expensive. You have to wait until next year to get one, yeah. Yeah, I know, I just saved it. I'm an idiot, it's fine. Um, I think it, it, they're really expensive, I think, everywhere right now. Mainly because, uh, mainly because of the chip shortage. So people are just not, like, Sony and Xbox are just not producing as many right now, so it makes them worth more. But 
you know, give it give it some time and the prices will start dropping because they will be in stock. So you may be able to find one used or, you know, at not not anytime terribly soon, but eventually it'll it'll get easier. All right, what am I going to get? Oh, just a couple rounds. Lame. Yeah, I have almost, I have every PlayStation, every Nintendo. I'm just missing the like latest gen of the PS, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Oops. There we go. Stay down, please, sir. Yeah, you hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. For everyone's sake. Are you dead dead or are you just playing dead? Oh. oh, he's dead dead. I can't see. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Let's not. I think this might be all I need in here. No, don't get stuck now. Okay, we're good. I made it. I managed. I think they can come in here, but it's fine. P room. Oh, power room. Aha. I know where that's at. All right, do we need down here? I don't want to die. I did just save it twice, so <laughs> would it be that big of a deal if I did die? That's not good. When you see people play the Resident Evil games, they zoom right past it. Right past what? Past this? Do you think the game is easier, easier with Claire? Um, so this is my second playthrough, so I played Leon during my first playthrough, and now I'm playing it the second time through with Claire, and I think the second time through is more difficult, regardless of which character you pick, but I feel like that this, this playthrough is more difficult. Oh, I see, the, the game, they get through it really quick, yeah. It really isn't that long of a game. I think the first... Is the moth gone? Oh, there he is. Can you please? Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. Um, yeah, like, with Leon, the playthrough was like 12 hours or 15 hours or something like that. Claire's is a little bit longer, but I've... I don't know. I think I've just been more dumb with Claire. <laughs> or maybe some of the stuff has changed a little bit, so you have to do things in a different order. So it makes you have to think a little bit harder about what you're doing. If you could just stay on the wall, that would be great. Okay, he's dead. Alright, and we gotta kill these things too. Resident Evil 1 was kind of the same way too, like I got through it in about 20 hours. It was a little bit longer, but 
granted this game is longer if you play both parts as the entire game you know I don't know who decided on this keyboard layout, but they were idiots. All right, I think there might be something else in here. Might be crazy. Uh, the first Resident Evil I played is Jill, and I only played as Jill, so I don't know what Chris was like, but when I was starting off, a friend of mine was just like, play as Jill, and I'm like, okay, well, that's what I'll do, <laughs> and it worked out. It turns out because she has um, a bigger inventory, and that really did help me when having never played a Resident Evil game before, having no idea what I was getting myself into, it was actually a lot of fun. You felt the game was easier with Claire because of the weapons you get. The, gr the grenade launcher helps a lot. Yeah, for sure. I do really like the bow gun. Um, I haven't used a whole lot of the grenades at all. But I really liked the shotgun. I don't think I really need much. Maybe some healing items just in case. Mmm. Let's drop these things off. Yeah, look at my ammo for my grenade launcher. Like, I'll be fine for a while. <laughs> oh, and this thing too. This thing is a monster. I've been saving it for the final boss, which is coming up soon. Oops, no, I, I didn't want it in my inventory. Thank you though. Um, I actually, oh, oh this is different. Annette. Where's Sherry? I'm not gonna I tell you. Her and she's never even heard of the G virus before. Which room? Tell me. I mean, aren't you her mother? Sherry. Uh oh. No. Annette. The samples inside the pendant Sherry's wearing. <laughs> no. Um, so what I was gonna say, I took the gameplay footage from my Resident Evil playthrough and uploaded it to the Zap Night Gaming YouTube channel. So if that sounds interesting at all, you can check it out over there. I super cut it all. I, I did a super cut of all the like fun and interesting spots. Uh oh. Um, so it's kind of fun to watch. I also did a bunch of dumb edits just because I can. It was fun to it was fun too because like I had never played I had never played a tank control game before and learning that was this challenge it's an understatement <laughs> Let's see if I can get this other one too please don't kill me please don't kill me please don't kill me nope 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 how often do I stream and how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for five years now. Actually, it'll be five years in July, which is coming up. Um, I typically, oh no, 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 leave me alone. Do not kill me. I will be very angry if I die. Oh, she's fine. Oh, oh my gosh. Can we not? <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> I usually stream three times a week. Uh, depending on the game, if it's an RPG, I try to stick to that three times a week. Um, Tuesday, what is it? Mo Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. 
That sounds right. And then for three hours a night. So this playthrough I've been doing eight to 11, but I typically do seven, well, this is central time. Um, but I typically do like seven to 10, you know, give or take. I mean, I try to stick to that time frame, but life happens. Um, the next game that I'm going to be playing is Chrono Trigger, so I'm super excited for that. I have played Chrono Trigger before several times, but I haven't played it for the podcast, and uh, it'll be fun to play it from a critical point of view. You're a streamer too, but you stream in Spanish. Do you stream on Twitch? Um, go ahead and drop the uh, drop your link in the in the chat, and I'll go check it out. Um, I want to use this, please. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna save it too, cause why the heck not? So I'm streaming on Twitch right now, but I have it like split streaming to Facebook as well. Uh, I don't know for sure if I want to play Chrono Trigger on Facebook or not. We'll see. I mean, it, it, it's been working really good. The biggest problem is that Facebook has been such a problem. Oh, you stream on Facebook. Good. Y'all have to check it out. Um. So Facebook has been giving me problems with Streamlabs, where Streamlabs will like crash just while I'm streaming on Facebook and Twitch at the same time. But I've been doing it this whole week and it's been fine. So I mean, I might continue to do it. I've gotten a decent amount of traffic through Facebook, so that's nice. But I do prefer Twitch. Just there's a lot the the interaction stuff like you can do the emotes and you can uh, collect the gems and stuff and redeem those for fun stuff. I like that. Did I already save it? I'm not paying attention. I'm going to look at it this time. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. OK, get out of here. Drop these guys off. Noctis, are you coming up here? Come on, get up here. Come on. Sit down. You're a good boy. All right, I don't think I need anything else. We need to go to the power room. We saved it, so we should be okay. You're such a good boy. Fill them empty slots. Don, how's it going, man? I mean, fill them with what, though? Like, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. If I end up having to fight this, like, big juggernaut thing, then I should be able to just come back here and do it again. Plus, if I fill all the empty slots, then what am I going to do if I pick something up? Oh, you know what? I should have healing items, though. That's... I probably should do that. since we have no ammo. I'll go ahead and take the grenade launcher just as a just in case. It's a nice gaming partner. Yeah, I know. He's a good boy. <laughs> when he's not trying to touch my controller with his toe beans. Leave my controller alone. He likes to do that when he's laying on me or he will stick his stick tail right into my face. <laughs> Let's do a thing.
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. We, uh, we did the fingerprint scanner thing, so I want to see what that is. Because I couldn't do it with Leon, but I did do it with Leon, so, like, I have the one set of fingerprints, so I need the second set. I think it's on the blue side. Your gaming partner is a chihuahua. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's sad. That sounds wonderful, though. I, I hope that you at least got the most out of it as possible. Poor little pupper. All right. Can we do it? I want to know what this is. Are we good? Can we open it now? Oh, -ho. haven't been in this room yet. Oh, oh my. Um, I'm not equipped for this. No. Oh, can we please? Oh my gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Lewis, how's it going, man? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Claire's not having a very good day. Good thing I just saved it. Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2. You're fine? That's good to hear. Good game, yeah. Yeah, that's the worst part about pets, right? So like, you know, they, they don't live quite as long as humans do. So, you know, you're bound to come across that eventually. The best thing we can do is make their lives as happy as possible. Damn lickers, I know, they're the worst. It's all right, we got them this time. Now that I know they're there. I need to know what's in this room. So I had a dog um, that just passed away a few years ago, but I got her when I was like 16. Yeah, I, I was still in high school. Nah, maybe it was like 17, but I was still in high school and um, I had a job pushing carts at Menards and um, a co-worker of mine had puppies and so I went and picked one up and I she was my best friend she was amazing called her lasagna she was a, a pit bull mix yeah I know my I, I'm at caution I'm aware I think I could heal up, but I, I think I'm going to take a couple hits before I do that. If I can avoid healing right now, it'll at least give me a few... You know, you know what I mean? Like, it'll stretch it out a little bit longer. I just, I was not expecting those liquors in there at all. Especially no, like, three of them. Stupid. I'm expecting them now. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I can still take another hit. But only one. Are you going to come over here or what? Pets are like your best friend. Yeah, for sure. Or children even. gonna do it where'd they go yeah. 
Why are you taking more hits? Wait, 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 wait. All right. Can you please? All right. <laughs> that that could have went better, but it's okay. Is my kitten going to make an appearance today? Maybe. He's been upstairs wreaking havoc lately. You have kids and they're your world, yeah, for sure. What is this thing? Okay. Ah, it's a whole nother round for that big gun that I have, that's cool. That one just didn't want to die. I know none of them do. They're like freaking sponges. Especially when you spend a lot of time with them, it's hard to say goodbye for sure. Yep. Well, and my wife had a cat that she had had since she was like 13, 14, something like that. Lived to be 20 years old. And I mean, she's still heartbroken. I mean, it, you don't, I don't think you ever really get over it. It just gets a little better. Looks like the remains of a failed experiment. Weird. I was hoping that there would be like more weirdness in this room, but there's really nothing all that fantastic. I mean, maybe this is like the source of the experiment gone wrong. But, oh well. Alright, let's move on. Now that we have all these rounds for this machine gun, I kind of just want to blow everything away with it. <laughs> like, my gut reaction is to conserve ammo at all costs, but like, I kind of want to go trigger happy and just blow everything away. We still need this. I don't know why. Well, I think there's. Yeah, there's that one door that I didn't go in because there's no point. Always conserve ammo. I know. You know, I went into Resident Evil 1 with that thought process, and like, I ended up just killing everything anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> And it's way more fun to just go in guns, guns a blazing. You know I'm right. So. Uh... All right, power room. Maybe we'll go and just use this, even though I don't need to go in that room. All it has in it is ammo and like a bunch of plants that hate me. To be fair, I hate them too, but no, I don't want that. I think I will. I'm gonna go down there and just open that door. Pretty sure I just kept skipping it. Mm. 
Yeah, there we go. I literally don't need anything in that room. I don't I don't need anything that those stupid plants have to offer. Like my death. <laughs> All right, to the power room. Where Sherry has definitely been smushed. That's okay. Game logic doesn't work that way. Oh, you know what? If I'm gonna carry this thing around, I may as well have the bullets or the gun with it. It's either that or I drop it off. I think, I think we'll take it. I don't need the extra rounds though. Um. No, 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 no. Can we not? Please, Danny, don't be an idiot. All right, um, I think we'll be okay now. Background music just makes things worse. I know. That's what it's designed to do. the game is about when it has background music because the lack of background music is very atmospheric as well like it's almost too quiet you know all right I think I went into this room with Leon and thought, oh, there should be a boss fight here, and there wasn't. But I think it's because it was saving it for Claire. Sherry! Help me, Claire! Help me, help! The monster's after your pendant. Throw it to me! <laughs> Throw it to me, it'll be safe. I mean, can I just run now? Like I have been this whole game? The game might be... Oh no, it should be fine. I kind of thought the game would be like, no, no, you gotta protect Sherry. Oh, I didn't have to fight him? Sucker. Uh oh. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Proof. <laughs> I know, it's gonna blow. I'll be fine. It's probably fine. I don't even think I had a countdown last time, did I? I might have had a countdown with uh with Leon. 
What a way to die. By lava pit. Oh, we still have to fight him though, that's cool. Eventually. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! I honestly feel Where like is Sherry she? is more annoying than Ashley in uh, Resident Evil 4. <clears throat> ah, nah, it's, it's fine. Tony, how's it going, man? I'm not in any hurry. We don't have a timer yet, so we can do all sorts of fun stuff. Oop, like this. Stare at a button. <laughs> Stare at a button and not touch it. We can walk. We'll just walk the whole way. chance to oh no this isn't our last chance to save it there's another one down for there I think we'll be all right I think maybe I'll, we'll just keep going I'm not gonna save it just yet I haven't done anything worth saving to be honest like I saved it I went down into the sherry thing and that was it like I haven't fought anything I haven't killed anything buy these plants though or not what are we gonna do oh right <clears throat> Mom. <laughs> Mom. sherry you have to escape i know i've been a terrible mother but i still love you forgive me <laughs> Mom. she gonna pick up the gun Sherry, we have to go now. Her legs look like crayons. Ooh, a master key. Move. It's not loaded. Them graphics though, I know. The pixel physics. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> All right, um, we still haven't really done anything worth saving. We'll equip that though. So we're not just running around defenseless. this master key you still have yet to play the remake for Resident Evil 2 I played the demo no I played the demo for Resident Evil 3 that was really good I haven't played anything for Resident Evil 2 Sherry had a hard childhood. <laughs> Her parents die or become monsters. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she was she was doomed from the beginning. Are we gonna do something or what? Let's 
is nice. This is drastically, drastically different than what Leon was doing. Save point. I mean, I feel like we're okay. Oh, what are the odds that I'm gonna use my pistol? Slim to none? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, wait, I actually want that. Um, I don't think I'll use acid rounds, but I might. I. I doubt that I'm gonna need acid rounds or fire rounds. Like grenade, the grenades gonna be fine. Um, I mean, maybe this, but that's a big, huge maybe. I think we'll be all right. I'll take this just, just in case. Flame rounds, huh? The flame rounds are good because they like stun him. Well, they stun the last boss that I fought, but when you have the machine gun, does it really matter? I don't know, we'll see. I'm saving it, so like, what's the worst that can happen, right? This would only be save number like. 21 had I not accidentally saved it twice Either way, yeah All right, what should we equip? We'll start with this thing Stairs. Or A X. <laughs> I hate that you have to hit the accept button to go up the stairs. Equip the machine gun and unload all the rounds. Yeah, I know. I mean, you're probably right. It's probably a better way to go. Insufficient power. What am I supposed to do? Is there something? not supplied. Is that like supposed to do something in the power room that I've missed? Oh, maybe this is all it is. No? No. This is where Leon comes down. Back to the power room is gonna be very embarrassing for Claire. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's our timer. Friggin' do it. Oh, stupid. Oh, do I need to go down here? I've got plenty of time. Oh my gosh, is it a dead end? No. Oh. I don't need that. There's a timer! I know. I know, and I'm being stupid, aren't I? What is 
stop in here real quick, have a drink. Resident Evil 2, I know. Ah! Okay, well, good thing we know that we know that now. Are you Squidward? It's okay, take your time. Well, thanks. What do you want me to do, game? Oh, we go back. I must have missed something. If we run out of time, I'll just do it better again next time. <laughs> Can we please? Oh yeah, I didn't look at this. Yes, I will open that. Aha! There are things. Can I take more than one? Yes, I will take more than one. Good. Nope, let's not, let's not go that way. <clears throat> okay, we're not supposed to combine them. Okay, we're we just using both. Now that we have no time. Why do we have like elegant music? This is fine. Fatality. We'll just do a. We'll, we'll just do a better. We'll try. <laughs> Resident Evil. I got this. At least I know where I'm going now. Fatality. If I combine these two together, does that help with my... Um, you don't get the Magnum with Claire. I think you only get that with Leon, unless I just missed it somewhere. Acid rounds are better, huh? Hmm. I know, Banana Hands is so accurate, isn't it? I mean, I'll switch it out. I'll switch it out with acid rounds. Or maybe I'll keep them with me. 
I have plenty. You think the Magnum is in a different location with Claire? Is there more down there? Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't see it anywhere. I just have the machine gun. I know, I'm swimming in ammo, I know. I should, it should be fine. The biggest problem that I'm having is dodging this guy's attacks and managing to hit him at the same time. Blue just helps with poison, but I swear it heals too. All right, I was, oh yeah, I did. This isn't going to do anything. You go back out. Well, in any case, I don't have the Magnum with Claire. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see it. Um, maybe, maybe if he plays Claire in your first playthrough. I don't know. I should be alright though. Uh, no, I don't need to go under. Oh, can we please? I mean, we have a lot more time now. Because I know what I'm doing. So there's that. it this time or maybe next time at least <laughs> this time or next time will definitely be the one shape already. Not by much. Um, we'll try the acid rounds this time. Oh man, all of his polygons just exploded. Alright, now I have to get back. Or can I get on the train right there? It's too late. I got the rocket launcher just in case. Oop, come on. I don't need that. I'm okay. Keep going. I don't know where I thought it was gonna go. Oh, oh, no, no! This is not a place to die! Oh my gosh. Can we not? Oh, 
Really? Come on. Now. Fire the rocket launcher inside the train? That sounds like a bad idea. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I might, after I beat it, maybe? I don't know. I will. Playthrough or his playthrough, does she show up at all? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's over. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Ah, uh, my God has protected you. It will always be with you. Claire. Sherry. You got another fight? That's fun. What was that? I mean... Just to be safe. Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. No! What's wrong with this thing? I don't know. The door won't open. I guess I should have saved it. I had this thought of going back and saving it, but I didn't. Although I don't know if I'd have been able to go all the way back to the back of the train and still have time to do this. I hate when that happens. It's too much wiping. He needs to try baby wipes for like a week or so. Yeah, 
Yes, we know. Warning, warning. The self-destruct system has been activated. Each train compartment That's will gross. sequentially. Repeat. Each what? Train compartment will sequentially. Leon, stop the train! I can't. The door to the control room is locked. What? Oh no! What is it? Sherry, get back! Sneaky. Oh, do you? Sherry, what are you doing? We have to stop the train, right? I can do Sherry! it. Sherry! Persistent, aren't you? Well, come and get it. The door's yeah. open now, I know. Which one's the right switch? Maybe this one? I'm almost done. I think I've pretty much finished it. This is the end cutscenes. Are you okay, Sherry? I'm okay. Where's Leon? Leon? He's dead. Leon! Right here. Leon! You're both safe. Just die. We've got to get out of here. Is that a child? Yes, it is a child. She's seen some things, man. I think Leon, Claire, and Sherry just got launched out of that tunnel like that a cannon. Pretty impressive back there, Sherry. It was nothing. I saw someone do that on TV once. Come on, we've got to move out. Now what's the problem? Is something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. Let's go. Go? Oh, you can't mean. Chris, I have to find you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, that was a good game. I like that they had the little extra snippet at the end, along with the extra cutscene for completing it through both, you know, both storylines. That makes it, that makes it worth it. Um, so guys, thank you all so much for hanging out and watching me play um, Resident Evil 2. I hope you guys had some fun. Um, we are going to be sitting down and talking about this on a podcast, uh, that will be out on July 1st, so check that out, that'll be on, um, you can do a Google search for Zap Night pretty much anywhere that you listen to podcasts, so iTunes, um, Spotify, SoundCloud, am I a Leon fan or a Claire fan? Um, I think I like Leon a little bit better. I th honestly, I think his story was a little more fun. Also, it was really easy. <laughs> Where Claire was kind of, I don't know, um, not not so much Claire, but like Sherry was really annoying, and I didn't I didn't like that. But I liked playing as uh, Ada. That was pretty cool. But yeah, guys. So uh, we'll be we'll be reviewing this for a podcast episode that'll be out on the first. Um, you can check out all of our previous podcast episodes at zapnight.com. Um, from, from what you saw, it was a good game. Well, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, um, I am going to end it here for today. Uh, the next podcast, or the next game that we're going to be playing will be Chrono Trigger. So if that sounds like fun, make sure you check us out. Um, come back for more. I may stream it on Facebook. A lot of you guys are hanging out on Facebook, so maybe I'll, I'll play it over there. Um, the next time I stream will be after the first. So um, it'll probably be the first week of July, I'd say. Uh, maybe that Monday, the 5th. I actually, I have the 5th off, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll be streaming then, but we'll see. Um, if you check out our social media stuff, I'll be posting when we go live. 
um, so you can you can see more there. So, all right, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Resident Evil 2. Is there something at the end? Should I wait a second? Oh, it's gonna give me my score, right? Ah. Where's her pants? <laughs> there. Aw, I just got an E. It's fine. F only. How did I get only five hours? All right, we are gonna end it here. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later.